I'm Elena Forte. I'm the music director at Coast to Coast Online Music School, and I'm here with our music production teachers. So welcome to Jillian and Christian, and I'll get each of them to introduce themselves. So over to Jillian. Hi, uh, I am a, a classical composer, classically trained, uh, and I also love uh, producing music of all kinds. Uh, but I mostly uh, work right now uh, in uh, more classical and like orchestral music, uh, as well as uh, cinematic music, such as for podcasts, uh, TV, and film. Well, um, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Christian, and um, I'm a producer, a musician, um, a electronic music uh, specialist uh, somehow. Um, I started my career as a guitar player uh, for many, many years and then uh, before I started producing. And I really fall in love with the, um, with the aspect, with many aspects of the music production after being uh, a guitar player for many, many, many years. Um, and I specialize, like I said, in electronic music mostly and many in other genres in music in, in general, no? Okay. Wonderful. So we're going to start off this interview. We wanted to give an overview about what music production is for students that are coming in and are curious about what we offer in our courses. So how about we talk a little bit about what music production is? Um, sure. Um, I think uh, a music production um, it's about uh, the construction on of the many disciplines and layers of music in general. Um, a music production helps you with the understanding of uh, the common elements of music like uh, rhythm, harmony, melody and how these elements of uh, uh, relate to playing an instrument and how to uh, uh, record or how to on uh, uh, have a deeper understanding of, of the rhythm section or the melodies or the harmonies that uh, uh, that are related to music in general. No, um, I don't know, Julian, if you want to add to this. Yeah, I think uh, those are all really, really great points. In addition to uh, rhythm, harmony, and melody uh, that we learn a lot, uh, even with traditional instruments, we also explore uh, sort of uh, the type of sound uh, or sort of the uh, the color of the sound, if you will, uh, called like a timbre. Uh, as well, we also use music production uh, to talk about uh, the practice of creating new types of sounds, uh, such as uh, using sound synthesis. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and understanding a little bit of the signal flow, how the, uh, how software and uh, hardware work uh, together for to be able to for to uh, to produce your your beats or your uh, or your music in, in general. No. Great. So here at the school, we offer lessons privately, and we also are going to be organizing group classes for music production. So say so somebody is a beginner, what kind of things are they going to learn in their classes? So uh, the first things we usually teach uh, in private lessons uh, for music production, uh, the first things are usually uh, signal flow, uh, like Christian was just mentioning. Uh, and that's sort of how all of the different music production tools sort of work together. Uh, the second thing is how to make beats, uh, because everybody loves making beats. It's really fun. Uh, and it's really personally rewarding. Uh, and then uh, the next thing we do is sort of a, a little bit of uh, how to mix your beats, uh, which in another way uh, is uh, sort of uh, how to make your beats sound great. Okay, so maybe Christian, you could answer this next question is somebody who's just starting out, what kind of equipment do they need? A personal, um, I think the most important tools that you're going to need uh, is basically a personal or desktop computer. This could be a Windows or Mac computer. 
Um, also, actually, iPhones, tablets, or Androids are good tools for you to develop your ideas. Um, but usually, you will use your personal computer to be able to develop these ideas. And a good set of headphones. And uh, we're going to be discussing in class what are the best options for you to uh, for your studio monitor headphones in general. No? And software, no? I don't know if Julian wants to add a little bit more of the, in this matter. Yeah, so I, I would like to say that uh, there are lots of different uh, DAWs uh, or digital audio workstation, which is really just a fancy way of saying uh, an audio program. Uh, there are lots of great choices. Uh, if you already own uh, a Mac computer or an iPad, you already have GarageBand, and GarageBand is great to start out with. Uh, so you already have it for free if you have a Mac. Uh, there are lots of other options such as Ableton, Logic Pro, uh, Reaper, uh, Pro Tools, uh, and, and there are dozens more. Uh, ultimately, whatever you have uh, is already great, but if you don't have one yet, uh, we can certainly help you uh, find the right one for you. And of course, our two music production teachers here are experts in all of those softwares that he listed. And so you touched a little bit, Julian, on how much it costs. Like if you wanted to do something free, you can definitely start with GarageBand. How much do some of those other software programs cost? Well, Reaper, for example, uh, comes with a, uh, I believe it's a three month uh, trial for free. Uh, and Ableton also has a free uh, trial, but there, there are also uh, different versions of uh, Ableton, for example. Uh, I think you also have a 90 day trial where you can get all of the features and everything in Ableton uh, for 90 days. Uh, it all works uh, great. Uh, and then uh, there's a cheaper version of Ableton called Ableton Intro uh, for $129. Uh, and and uh, there's sort of options all over uh, the pricing spectrum. Uh, so, uh, so you could you could take a new student through that and help them choose what you yeah. need, right? Uh, like uh, I think Christian, you also mentioned that if you buy one of those uh, keyboards, I don't know if you have it with you, that it's packed. I do. Okay. Yeah, you can pull it yeah. Sure. Here, here so, it goes. So, uh, um, this keyboard you said comes packaged with Ableton. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, for example, this is a, just a MIDI keyboard, and this MIDI keyboard is designed specifically for music production um, because it helps me to input the notes uh, that I want to learn, uh, that I want to record, or I want to produce uh, inside of my DAW. And so these these guys can come with a with a free license of Ableton already. So um, what I would would recommend is uh, talk to us to the instructors before you buy any any equipment, and we can definitely recommend uh, what would be the best option based on your interests and uh, and your level and your skill of uh, of, of uh, music. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about skill then. So if there's a new student coming in, do they have to understand music theory or do they need to know how to play an instrument before they can get um, production lessons? Julian? So many music producers actually don't know uh, much music theory and some don't even uh, <laughs> play an instrument. Uh, so you certainly don't have to. Uh, if you already have some, uh, that's great. Uh, if you already know how to play an instrument, for example, uh, then music production lessons, uh, we can sort of teach you how to record your instrument and get the best sound. Uh, and you can also uh, sort of figure out different ways of changing the sound of your instrument uh, and things like that. So if you already know how to play an instrument, uh, you don't lose anything uh, by also taking music production lessons, but you don't have to learn how to play an instrument first. Yeah, and and what I would say is like uh, is it, playing an instrument is not necessary, but it's highly recommended because that's going to help you to to understand how uh, music works. Uh, uh, and and yeah, no, it's it's uh, we we both are guitar players, for example. 
So uh, sometimes guitar helps me to to be able to write melodies or compose things that I can then input in my in my software. Mm -hmm. But of course, piano helps better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> we won't get into a war. Um, so I want to address our question to Julian because Julian also teaches composition at Coast to Coast. And so there's a little bit of overlap between music production and composition. So maybe you could talk a little bit about that last Julian. So uh, composition usually focuses on uh, a notated score uh, or, or like a notated piece of music on a page. Uh, and usually uh, the composer works uh, within a software such as Finale, Sibelius, or MuseScore. Uh, and then after they have sort of diligently prepared uh, all of the notes that they want uh, to be played, they actually hand it to uh, a musician to perform it, let's say for a uh, piano, uh, violin, and then that usually gets recorded. So music production is kind of a different approach uh, because usually we're inputting uh, all of the notes and things into the program uh, that we're using, and then we're going to hear it immediately. So you get uh, kind of more of a direct feedback uh, on your ideas. Uh, but otherwise, nearly all of the skills sort of transfer from one to another. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks. Okay, so I'm talking from the point of, a, point of view of a student and always one thing that's really important to them is how much homework will I be expected to do every week? So maybe I'll let both of you answer that. Christian, I'll let you start. How much homework um, do I get? <laughs> sure. Um, well, I think we, 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 had to, we had to think about um, as your computer as being um, an instrument, a musical instrument as well, a very, very, very powerful musical instrument. Um, uh, so, uh, the more you practice, uh, the better you get at it. And also, uh, uh, coming up with your own workflow. We all have different learning skills, so uh, we try to orient our uh, uh, homework or uh, to whatever is your level or your skill of understanding of music and music production. So we can we can tailor more to whatever is specifically that's going to work for you, in general. No, mm -hmm. Julian, did you have anything to add? Yeah, I'd like to uh, sort of just to to sort of reiterate what Christian said more or less. Uh, another way of thinking it is that uh, we like to customize the assignments we give you, uh, and and so the homework that you're doing uh, will often feel more. Uh, more like fun that you get to write uh, music because we're sort of figuring out what it is that you want to do. If you want to produce more beats, uh, we'll ask you, let's say, to spend maybe 15 minutes a day uh, producing a new beat every day uh, for the week. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> daily practice goes goes far. It's If you spend a little bit of time every day, it's... it's, it's uh, uh, you get your muscles going, you know, your, your, uh, your creative muscles going, and it's better to, to spend a little bit of time every day than just spend one uh, or two hours one day of the week so you can uh, improve on your workflow, no? So you try to build the habits of... Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and and uh, the, the more you practice, the better you get at it, just like any other instrument. Absolutely. Yeah. You get out what you put in, right? <laughs> yep. Awesome. So I think uh, the final thing that I want to touch on is what exactly can we do with music production after we're taking some classes? Yeah, um, I, th I think there are like um, there are many jobs in the music industry, um, uh, like producing beats, recording, uh, producing other artists, mixing and mastering. So we usually uh, the music producer, the role of the music producer it's a lot of the times behind the scene, right? We're not, we're not the faces of the, uh, of the music that is released usually. Um, but we, we, we wear many hats where we can help artists to, uh, to improve their music, uh, 
and sometimes even to release their music or manage artists. So, so uh, that's that's what I love about music production. That gives me a deeper understanding of all the whole music industry in general. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, it helps us sort of uh, listen and understand music on a deeper level as well. Uh, a music producer often uh, will have listened to uh, a song uh, on the radio or anything, uh, wherever they're hearing music, uh, and we can already sort of uh, get a little bit more out of the listening experience because we can say, oh, that's this instrument, uh, or oh, this was made in this way. Uh, but we also uh, hear lots of music every day uh, in movies, TV shows, uh, on podcasts, on the radio, uh, and music producers are making all of this music. Uh, so uh, those are all jobs for music producers, and you can do that if you take music production lessons. One, one thing that I wanted to mention over there is like we can we can um, uh, we can help you also to to. Uh, to I have I have helped students in the in the past to be able to pursue or to um, a, to get into college or university degrees uh, specific in in music. Uh, a, so we we can help you to develop these skills to be able to apply for for other uh, uh, more um, a higher education uh, degrees and stuff like that in based on music. No. Okay, so that wraps up our interview on uh, music production. Thank you so much, Julian and Christian, for clearing up some of those uh, questions. No problem. And if you have any questions, you can check out our website at coasttocoastonlinemusicschool.com. And we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elena, and uh, hope to see you guys in class. See you soon.